What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a little van tour. Uh, I did one of these several years ago. I think it was like seven or eight years ago. Uh, so I figured it was long overdue to make another one. I've collected a whole bunch of stuff since then. Uh, changed some stuff around, different vans, different company. So I figured I'd make another one for you. So that's what we're going to do today. This van I've only been in for about two months now. Uh, this is a Nissan 2014 NV2500, I believe. But uh, yeah, we'll give you a little little tour and show you what I got, what I'm working with. Some of the stuff on here is company issued. Um, others are my own. So, but we'll just start back here. Have a little uh, inexpensive little hand truck right here. I think it's good for like 80 or 100 pounds. Mainly just use it to strap my torches to. Uh, just toting them across roofs and things like that just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I got some rags down here, some cleaner. Uh, this is a two-part epoxy kit. I've seen this in one of uh, Steve Labs videos a couple years back. Got them out of some pinches. So I picked some up uh, quite a while back and uh, definitely works great. It's got me out of some uh, some situations, some temporary fixes, things like that. So if you're looking for some epoxy, uh, this all craft stuff is uh, definitely something to look into. Let's see. We got a couple, a couple little sheet metal boxes back here. Got my big blue, of course. Um, got this little uh, new Calgon. Who knows who actually makes it, but this is new Calgon. Um, it's pressurized uh, soap bubbles. It shoots in like a really fine um, spray. It's not really a spray, but it's like a solid column. So use it on like ductless mini split heads. Uh, it keeps things a lot a lot cleaner. You have a lot more precision when you're uh, when you're spraying that in there um, versus just the standard spray bottle. So. Use that pretty much mainly on the uh, ductless heads just to kind of keep the uh, soap bubbles isolated to one spot. I uh, got some spray adhesive, some wasp killer, got a little mini dustpan and broom back there, or dustpan and brush rather. Got some Viper foaming coil cleaners, got my drain and pan treatment from Viper. I uh, got some Flex Seal Baby back there, that's clear. Uh, comes in handy time to time. I also use it when I am brazing in uh, filter dryers if I happen to burn the ends of it, especially on the ocean. Throw that on there and it'll help keep that uh, corrosion down from the salt air. Silicone, a um, couple lubricants, WD-40, uh, some silicone grease. I do keep these on the truck, these little condensate tabs, which I personally think they're junk, but I keep them on there as a backup in case I happen to run out of the uh, pan and drain treatment. Got some PVC glue, a little brass bristle brush, uh, some anti-seize for some threads for bolts. Uh, let's see, got a 100 foot extension cord, a couple um, measuring tapes, a couple buckets. Can never have too many spare buckets. Got my torch kit, got a bunch of, uh, bunch of tubing cutters in here, all different sizes, scotch brake pads, uh, another wire brush. Uh, below that is my flint, a whole bunch of different uh, different torch tips, rosebuds, that kind of stuff. Inspection mirror, of course. A little tubing bender, uh, sandpaper, extra brazing rods. Uh, got a couple ropes. Got my six-foot beach umbrella right there for the rain or in the summertime doing a repair outside. Kind of keep the sun off my bald head. Uh, I got a lot of tool bags in here that are sort of catch-alls. I have extras, backups to backup, so um, that'll be pretty redundant on this truck. But uh, extra set of PVC cutters, um, some liquid electrical tape, some extra electrical tape and some marking tapes, a uh, little brush, a couple extra thermostat screwdrivers, extra lighter, um, odd and in, Allen wrenches, fuse puller, um, extra rev markers extras of everything um, down here we got another 100 foot extension cord um, my evacuation kit that is a top tech recovery machine provided by the company uh, in that milk crate got a couple nitrogen tanks oxygen uh, there's an acetylene over there we'll hop in the back uh, vn500 regulator i guess i'll open this for you got this idea a while back from uh Mr. Mr. AK Greaves. 
but just keeps everything a lot more uh, a lot cleaner one one box or one bucket grab it and go this is my blue vac micron gauge t coupler uh, lots and lots and lots of gaskets below this we have several appion core removers I think there's three in there uh, and there's a couple in some other some other bags in here got some rags another backup micron gauge this is the navac micron gauge uh, some different uh, some more gaskets some caps um, six inch appion hose for my t-rig uh, this is like a um, a set of hooks to remove the gaskets replacing gaskets and stuff just makes it so much easier uh, a little three-way a uh, little 10-foot extension cord there's a cheater cord down there there's some nylog down there um, an extra regulator another micron gauge the story of my truck is redundancy i have a lot of doubles of things um appion hoses obviously uh, what else is in there um, if I ever use it, which I rarely do, but there's a adapter for some flush. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in my evacuation rig. Don't know if I ever made a video on that, but you can go check out, uh, AK Greaves. He has a pretty detailed, uh, video on his recovery rig. I think he's since changed it, but, uh, definitely works damn good. So, um, yeah, shout out to Mr. Greaves. Throw all this stuff back in here. And again, I'm trying to do all this with one hand and not make this video an hour long, so bear with me. But that's my vac kit. Just toss that back under there. Behind the extension cord, there is a roll of 18.8 thermostat wire. Oh, let's see. We got some just general motors. Um, on this shelf, we have an extra gallon of water. Just keep that on hand in case I'm working somewhere where I can't get access to water. Got a little miniature broom and dustpan. Got some ice machine cleaner. Got some coil coating. And some Odnin uh, cleaners and sprays back there as well. Um, got some screws. Got this horrible stuff, which I've never used. Um, but... Odd end screws, couple circuit boards, four screws, condensate pump, uh, disconnect, a uh, bunch of odd end thermostats up here, uh, impact rated DeWalt socket set, cobalt hole saw kit, imperial swedge and flare kit, um, and this is a tubing bender. This bag is just uh, more extras. A whole bunch of extra leads, a couple extra meters, a uh, Testo 770-3, and a Southwire meter. I think this is their highest end meter. It's got Bluetooth on it as well. I have no idea what the model is. There's the model right there if anybody wanted it. Solid meter. Um, definitely on the less expensive end of different options. But... Um, Solid meter, nevertheless, I've had good luck with it. Just trying, again, trying to do all this with uh, with one hand, so I apologize if we got some shaky camera action here. Production value is probably lacking, but it is what it is. So, um, MB2 bag. This has got my UEI uh, smart probes in it, uh, knee pads. A couple odd and things with the uh, smart probes, just a pair of six inch, six inch channel lock, service valve, a couple adjustables, uh, rags. Um, in here we got another Appian core remover, uh, and this is uh, um, valve cores. A couple more gaskets, uh, a couple adapters, charging T, uh, five sixteenth adapters for some mini splits, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a compressor puller compressor tote whatever you want to call it under here some panduit straps um, kind of the general stuff uh, let's see let's go to this side you got some cork tape up there some filter dryers just odd and uh, flare nuts uh, 
screws, bolts, all kinds of stuff in these little individual uh, cases inside of here. This is just an old, I believe it's a Stanley um, socket set. Got some circuit boards down there. Um, little ECM tester thing, which you don't really need. Have a meter and you can do all that. But uh, just odd and in parts, kind of the standard stuff, guys. Contactors, transformers, relays, breakers, uh, sequencers. Down here we got a whole bunch of capacitors. That is a communicating circuit board. Um, just it's used. Just have it for a pinch. Get me out of a late night call. Um, got some same thing right there. Got some odd and end parts. Some modules for some motors. That's a train defrost board. Again, used stuff just to kind of get me out of a pinch. Got a couple hard heads. Uh, got an Inficon TechMate leak detector. Uh, six foot ladder. Van number fourteen. Um, down here I got some heavy mill plastic um, just for odd and end jobs. If I need to cover up a unit that I have open, if it's raining or something, I need to run to a supply house. Um, also, if I need a like a makeshift drop cloth or something in somebody's house, um, definitely comes in handy. Super cheap stuff. Oh, what else? Uh, my awesome little cordless DeWalt shop vac. Love this thing. This thing is excellent. Highly recommended. If you have, especially if you have a DeWalt set already, it's definitely a great addition. Uh, my recovery machine, excuse me, my recovery tank goes here, but it was full, so I'm waiting to grab another. Uh, 410A, obviously. Um, let me shut this down. I'm going to jump in the side doors, and we will continue on. All right, so we got our Viper wipes. These things are badass. I love these things. Uh, cleaning up your hands, greasy, oily stuff uh, work really, really well. Got a uh, company provided little little JB vacuum pump there. Another refrigerant rack, 407C, 410A. Up here I got a 50-foot extension cord. Got an 8x8 uh, tarp coveralls. Got a frog tog rain suit here. Um, some odd and end straps, tape, stuff like that. Uh, let's see, got my shoe covers. Uh, this is another catch-all. It's got a whole lot of stuff, an extra set of knee pads in there, uh, extra electrical tape, a couple brushes, adjustable wrenches, extra sockets, levels, screwdrivers, wire strippers. Um, yeah, just more Allen keys, big adjustables, um, light for um, anybody that's thrown some, uh, some of that... Uh, die in systems which we don't use but i've come across many of them that have it in there so it's good to have the uh the light and the glasses um glasses are inside of that bucket uh, let's see got my little coil cleaner rig here um got my little pump sprayer one gallon again more extra extra water there got some vipery bat cleaner got some heavy duty viper condenser coil cleaner um Got the little Rhino Wedge pump down there. Got this for removing water in the attic. Sometimes I can stick that in the vent and I can pour the water that I get out of the, uh, the shop vac, pour that down the drain without having to make multiple trips out of the attic. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We got some RZ masks here. Keep my lung clean. Uh, got some safety glasses in here. Uh, in this south wire kit, the, I have my Testo small vein anemometer, um, some hoses in there to check gas pressure, things like that. Uh, magnetic dish, got some clamps, another Dewalt light, uh, fire extinguisher. This is my main MB2 bag. Um, so this one, I think I've done a video on it. It's probably changed several times since then. Got my little headlamp and uh, just my, my main go-to tool bag. Try to keep things as minimal as possible when I'm toting stuff around. I used to tote backpacks and big tool bags. That was everything but the kitchen sink. That gets old real fast. I uh, got my little knee pad kneeler. Got my DeWalt uh, set here. Skill saw, sawzall, hammer drill, um, impact. Got a heat gun in here. Um, step down bits, a bunch of bag of a bunch of a uh, bunch of bits paddle bits things like that in there 
Um, what else? What else? Another catch-all uh, tool bag right there. Again, very redundant. It's got a bunch of extra stuff in it. Um, extra hand tools, that kind of thing. And here, this is my little cleaning bucket. So this has got the foam gun, which is awesome. Several different brushes. Never know when you're going to need them. There is a hundred foot of that flexible hose down there. A couple different sprayer nozzles, that kind of thing. Pretty standard stuff, guys. Once you've seen one uh, truck tour video, you've more or less seen them all. Um, don't think I've done this shelf yet. There's a little fish tape, uh, a little hacksaw, uh, CPS scale, uh, some rags, gloves. Uh, there's some dust masks and more latex gloves up there. Uh, little suits to keep you clean if you're crawling around in crawl spaces. Four foot ladder. Um, let's see, what else? Got some high-vis uh, vests in here for commercial jobs. Got some... Anchor kits back there, a bunch of different odd and end tapes, and this bag is a bunch of sheet metal tools, tongs, sheet metal hammer, snips, all that kind of stuff. Um, some more odd and end parts, surge protectors, aqua guards, terminal block kits, compressor uh, compressor harnesses, uh, Testo 550s, Navac cordless flaring tool, a two gallon shop vec. Oh, and I have this little hook for my six foot ladder so you can just sort of hook it on the side there and it kind of stays out of the way doesn't roll around or get knocked away and leaves up free space in the center of the truck uh, that condition one case has all my testo smart probes got a bucket of mastic in that great big tool bag back there we got uh, extra sockets uh, pipe dope pipe wrenches pry bars, crowbars, mini sledge, a couple different hammers, um, all that kind of stuff. It's like a, dem a demo bag of sorts, I guess you'd call it. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I uh, got a little fire extinguisher up there. Got this little organizer here. It's got everything from fuses to different odd and end connectors wire nuts, more fuses, uh, those are odd and refrigerant caps, some of them are brand new, some of them I scavenged off of old units, uh, test ports, uh, retainers, couple pistons, that kind of thing, uh, some uh, clamps, some seal tight, more wire nuts, um, and here 407C stickers obviously, there's an AAB anemometer in there, uh, mastic brush There's also the little programmer for the VFDs For carrier and Bryant package units uh, This one is just a catch-all. It's got everything wire bugs uh, reducing donuts washers uh, Extra refrigerant caps that I've scavenged off of units uh, service valve caps rather uh, a bunch of copper fittings uh, in there which there's a glare there's extra sandpaper viper wet rag thermal putty uh, down here is a bunch of batteries pvc fittings um yeah guys i think that's uh i think that's pretty much it not sure if i've left anything out if i have i'm sure somebody will comment below but uh yeah that's the gist of my truck so hope you liked the video guys thanks for watching if I missed anything or you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.